Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Half Gazette, here with another video, and this one is talking about air attacks at Town Hall 9. So recently we've seen a lot more air attacks. Uh, the Goodfellas War had quite a few uh, air attacks on our side, and it's a different combinations, different stuff, and basically I think the reason we're seeing this come back at Town Hall 9 is because for the last few months, bases have shifted to defend more against Valks and Bowlers, the HG, HB, those type of attacks, and I think that's opening up uh, opportunities to do air attacks. Now, these attacks tend to work with higher level heroes. Uh, they tend to work better, but that's the same for all attacks, and you can really do this with most level heroes if you do it right, and just make sure to compensate. Know that you won't get quite as much taken out. Uh, notifications, I forgot again. But know that you won't get quite as much taken out uh, with your kill squad if your heroes are a little bit lower level. That's just a sacrifice you have to make. Hopefully the base you're taking on is a little lower level also. So anyway, let's get into these attacks. We have quite a few to show today. And uh, this first base, you'll notice that these three air defenses are all kind of revolving around that core. You can see they make a little triangle uh, in, the, in the middle of the base. And because they're all so central like that, um, just by coming in with a kill squad and uh, bringing the bowlers, which are always a good addition to a kill squad in most circumstances, especially if you have you know multiple golems, the bowlers add quite a bit of HP, or not HP, quite a bit of DPS behind your golems to help uh, everything move th through the base. So you can see here he comes in with the kill squad, he's going to invest the earthquakes to open up the middle of the base, it's kind of like a max attack, he has the rage, the heal uh, for his king and his bowlers, and uh, you can see the queen sitting back, taking out buildings, uh, right here he'll pop the king's ability as he engages the queen, and one of the great things is the heal keeps those barbarians up a little while, and they actually do quite a bit of damage uh, once they're up because the king spawns quite a few of them. So anyway, at this point he gets in, gets three air defenses taken out, that's pretty much the goal of the attack, and this last air defense is for, for the air part of his uh, attack. You can see he has two Lava Hounds. Uh, the first one gets taken out pretty quickly, but the second one will get in there. It will tank for those balloons, and uh, they'll finish off pretty much all these other defenses. Uh, the Kill Squad's starting to go down, but the uh, Balloons and the Lava Hound are making their way over to that part of the base. The Golem is still tanking, so that's awesome value there. And uh, we'll go ahead and go times two as the Balloons close in and uh, take out these last few defenses. Nice attack to 007. Good base identification, seeing that all those air defenses were pretty close to the core, as well as the queen. So if he just got those bowlers and the queen inside the core, they could reach pretty much all the high value stuff and set things up real, real nicely for the air attack. So has a haste spell to swag, and uh, we'll move on to the next attack. Okay, we have number 16. Uh, this is... Er, that's 15, 16, uh, Yaji taking on uh, this base. And you can see here, um, this guy just put two air defenses pretty close to his queen. Now, depending on your hero level, it might take two golems possibly, or maybe one golem and some Valks or some bowlers. Uh, but it might take a little more of an investment to take out the queen and both those air defenses. But uh, Yaji with his level 30 heroes does it just with one golem and his heroes. So it gets great value and really sets himself up by having four lava hounds for only two remaining air defenses. So he uses that rage on his heroes to uh, bo boost up their DPS. Has the poison for the CC troops, a bunch of goblins and Valks. And uh, right here pops the king's ability. All that's left is that one air defense he has to get in and get, and the funnel is pretty solid, so the queen's going to head to the left here. Um, the king kind of goes around, and he'll go down in just a moment, but that level 30 queen has enough juice in her to get in there and get that next air defense taken out. Probably a level 20 queen could have gotten that also, because you can see she's not really in any danger of going down, and she'll stay up for quite a, a bit longer. So anyway... Um, that part is over. You can see he's coming in with the air part of the attack. Has both those lava hounds coming in. Typically the first one will get taken out pretty quickly. So sends in that third one to help back up the second one. I like how his haste spells are really early. That's getting those balloons moving as quickly as possible. The initial boost is what they need because the spell effect lasts with them a little longer 
even after they leave the spell. I've said this a bunch of times, but it does. And uh, you can see here that last, last Lava Hound is tanking for that air defense and has plenty of balloons, still has one more haste. And if you have a lot of balloons, typically you can just bring haste spells and you don't have to bring the rages because you'll have enough balloons that the extra DPS won't even be necessary. Just one drop from two balloons will take out almost any defense. Also helps, I'm not sure if this guy's expos were on ground. I think they might have been. That's another thing to look for. It's if you have two grounded expos, um, that's just another bonus to the attack. It's two less defenses that you have to worry about. And I think they're some of the highest DPS uh, that you have. And they definitely have the most range of any defense at Town Hall 9. So that's going to be a good bonus if both those defenses, both the expos, are not able to attack your, uh, your air part of your attack. So anyway, moving along, we have a few more to look at. We're going to take a look at 19. This is Noxie. Um, he's coming in here with a... Another hybrid attack has the kill squad with the two golems, goes ahead and drops those down, and uh, baby dragons are always good for the funnel, and they also can, you know, disarm a few air traps that you might otherwise have hitting your balloons in case you deploy them on that angle. So anyway, they get in there, create the funnel, take out some of these buildings along with some wizards. Uh, the golem's doing all the tanking. One balloon just to help out on that uh, cannon. Not sure it was needed, but no problem there. Uh, the, the funnel's created very nicely, so he knows his heroes are going into the base here. Uh, right there, drops down the queen, the king behind, the bowlers from the CC. He only has nine balloons, but he's going to get in here and get a huge chunk of the base taken out. Sometimes if you can look in here and see that you can get the queen and three air defenses, you only need like one lava hound or two lava hounds and ten balloons to get the job done. Uh, the bowlers have some good range along with the queen, so you don't have to actually go into the compartment where the air defenses are or where the queen is. Sometimes you can just kind of go next to it and you can see right there there's sniper some of these air defenses as they go. The jump spell uh, did a great job kind of connecting everything, uh, letting them move in there and get that third air defense taken out. And at this point, some great Lava Hound deployment, letting that Lava Hound just make a long uh, march from the bottom to the, to the right side there. And as soon as it aggroes the defenses, he drops those balloons in. So he gets the tanking value of that Lava Hound as it made its way along. That second Lava Hound to go in there and tank for the uh, air defense for the last part of the attack. You can see the queen is still up because the kill squad was so solid and uh, a pretty hefty kill squad. Typically, the queen's going to stay up pretty long. Now, unfortunately, that one uh, archer tower didn't quite go down at the bottom. Uh, had like a, a sliver of HP left, but at the top he has that Lava Hound still up along with a few balloons that will get in there and get the Archer Tower at the top there. And uh, at this point it's pretty much just clean up. That one defense at the bottom is not going to be an issue. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through. A few air traps chasing around the Lava Hound, but it'll explode and those Lava Pups will help with cleanup. So nice attack to Noxie. Uh, once again, seeing those three air defenses and the queen are reachable with the kill squad, goes in, gets it taken out, and then has the air part of the attack for the for the rest of the base. Uh, two more to look at. We have 22 uh, right here. This is uh, Ser Cerulean. Um, that's probably way easier to say than I'm making it. But uh, Cer Cerulean, Cerulean uh, taken out number 22. And uh, he does a queen walk, which is definitely a valid option. Sometimes the base is kind of spread out like this and has a bunch of gaps in it to defend against HGHB and Valks and all those ground attacks that are so popular. And when you see this, there's often a good opportunity to go in there and uh, get two air defenses in the queen. And also, because the point defense is so spread out, your queen can pretty much stay up the entire attack only with a few rage spells as an investment. So right here, the air sweeper is kind of in the opposite direction, pushing those healers back. But that's honestly not that much of an issue, especially when you have rages and the queen's ability. She'll get in there, she'll get the air sweeper taken out pretty soon, and it won't be an issue anymore. Uh, so you can see she's getting this, these point defense one at a time. First air defense goes down right there, uh, drops a baby dragon, at the top just for funneling I think and uh, one at a time this point defense goes down drops that rage uh, good timing because he needed it to take out the queen and 
Uh, the Expo was on the Queen as well as the Air Sweeper, so definitely good value there. The Queen's going to continue on into the base, get more value. I think she'll deal with the CC troops as well. Right there has the Poison nice and early. Goes ahead and double Poisons, uh, which I think does speed up the Poison effect just a little bit if you drop them both in the same place. So I, I think I was corrected one time on that. But anyway, the Queen goes in, gets the second air defense. Her job's pretty much over, but she'll help take out a few more buildings as well. Now the, the Lava Hound's going going in here. Uh, balloons on pretty much each defense and uh, everything's just going down. The air sweeper is kind of being a little bit of a nuisance but that rage helps those balloons fight through it. Get in there, get some more defenses taken out and as soon as that lava hound pops the air defense is down so great timing. Last lava hound going in, that level 4 lava hound, it'll tank for that Tesla farm even though there's a lot of DPS. It has a ton of uh, hit points that level 4 lava hound so uh, it's still up tanking for all those Teslas, has that last Rage and a few more Balloons added into the main group. Awesome attack, great placement on the Rages, and you can see sometimes these bases that have the gaps in them to defend against ground attacks lend themselves to some Queen Walks that can get in there and get some high value uh, targets for an air attack. So good stuff there. We'll take a look at one more, uh, number 24. This is, okay, again with uh, Cerulean. And he's coming in here with three golems, so a huge tank investment. Goes ahead and drops in a balloon just to get the trade there on the mortar. Get it taken out. I think that was for golem pathing also. So the golem goes for the wall instead of the mortar. But he really spreads his golems wide here. And uh, typically that's not something you want to do as much because you're taking so much more damage if you spread out your kill squad than if you keep it a little more... Uh, a little closer together but that being said he's making sure he gets a really wide funnel and uh, his bowlers are going to stay inside the base now he comes in here with some wall breakers that top golem doesn't actually reroute back on in but honestly there's nothing left of it so doesn't matter a whole lot the baby dragon actually almost takes out the queen but it goes down right there so the queen still has a little bit of hp left the bowlers making their way on in the funnel was awesome so everything's going into the base here has the poison for the cc troops and uh, he's going to get in here and get three air defenses taken out. Actually, I think almost four because you can see how the air defenses were laid out. The one was in the top left where the, the just got taken out. The other three at the bottom here. It's a nice like path for the kill squad to go along. They're all in kind of one straight line. So if you see that, you can kind of map out where your kill squad will go. And uh, you can pretty much get all four air defenses taken out. Now that being said, you might wonder why he deployed the Lava Hound before the air defense went down because it's obviously going to go down right here to the bowlers and the queen. And the reason is that you want the lava hound the tanks to take some damage, not only because you want it to pop eventually and you want the lava the lava pups for cleanup, but you also want it to get in there and tank for all the point defense. If the air defense is already down, it'll just sit on the nearest uh, defensive building and it won't really do much tanking. So uh, a lot of what the lava hound does is not just tanking for the air defense, but tanking for archer towers, for wizard towers, for Tesla soaking up air traps that's all stuff that it can only do if the air defense is still up so if you deploy your lava hound a little earlier even though the kill squad's going to get it eventually that kind of ensures that your balloons are better protected as they enter the base and if anything it helps your kill squad stay up a little bit longer because it'll distract some archer towers and teslas that would otherwise be attacking your kill squad so awesome attack to cerulean getting the three star if that's not how you say it let me know in the comments and uh, we'll wrap this thing up as we go times four to the end of this attack. So hope you guys liked the video. Uh, just wanted to show what's going on at Town Hall 9 right now. Keep you Town Hall 9s out there updated on the newest and greatest attack strategies. So I'll try to record some live attacks from this most recent war that we're just about to start. And uh, maybe some other live action for you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later. Bisect the Trun out.